Okay, so on this video, I'm going to show how perfectly competitive market moves from the short run to the long run. So the firm here is a profit maximizer, so you've got to find the profit maximizing point to start with. Some of you have done MCAC, don't know why you did that. Uh, the profit maximizing point is just there, MC equals MR. So if you don't have that in your book, you need to make sure it's really clearly highlighted. And that tells me the output that the firm will make. So the next question is, how much supernormal profit is the firm making? Okay, so look, I'm going to quickly run through this in some really boring detail. Revenue equals price times quantity. So the revenue the firm's making is that length there times that length there. Its total cost is the cost per unit multiplied by how many are sold. The cost per unit is AC. gives us this box down here. Profit is the revenue take away the cost. So the super normal profit that I'm left with here is the box up at the top. Okay. If you're doing this in an exam, you only need to mark the profit box. You don't need to mark the revenue and the cost. I'm just showing you why that profit is the box at the top. It is definitely super normal profit because when economists do these calculations and draw these curves, they include the opportunity cost in the curves. So any profit you see on one of these diagrams in a box is always going to be super normal profit. Okay, so this is the market on the left, the whole market, all the firms, and on the right we've got an example of one firm. And the question on the sheet is, why are new firms going to enter this market? And the answer is, they are attracted by the supernormal profit. This is an industry where you can earn more than the next best alternative. So people are going to want to get involved in this market. Entrepreneurs are going to want to start businesses so that they can take a share of the profit. How do I know new firms are going to be able to join this market? because in a perfectly competitive market, there are no barriers to entry or exit. So the answer to the, the next question on the sheet, how can firms enter, or should really say why are they able to enter, is because there are no barriers to entry, no startup costs, no advertising to break, et cetera, et cetera. Because there's super normal profit, new firms are going to enter, and we can show that on the right-hand side as an outward shift work pretty well as an outward shift of supply so on the market on the left hand side we can see that's going to reduce the price that's gone completely wrong The firm has to take the price in the market. It's a price taker. It has no price making power whatsoever. So the price that firm can earn has fallen. Its marginal revenue has fallen. And I can now have a look at what the firm's going to do. It's still going to be a profit maximizer. So I'm looking for MC equals MR. It's going to make fewer units. And also it is still going to earn some super normal profit. In there. But the amount of super normal profit has fallen, but there's still some there. So there's still an incentive for new firms to join the market. And there will be an incentive for new firms to join the market all the way until the point where only normal profit is earned and all the super normal profit has gone and that super normal profit box has collapsed down to a single point. So this process will keep happening until all of the super normal profit has disappeared 
And if you go right to that point at the bottom, now it's also the point where MC cuts AC, the minimum point of AC, there is impossible at that point to draw a profit box. And firms will keep entering until the profit is reduced to that point. And at that point, we have normal profit, and that is where the market will settle in the long run. That is long run perfect competition. So there's one last thing I can say about this market because it's producing at the minimum average cost and that is that the firm is productively efficient and that is a characteristic of perfectly competitive markets, an outcome of perfectly competitive markets. Because there are no barriers to entry, new firms will keep driving the price down until all the firms are at that point.